There are many celebrities and famous people that you may know who have suffered from anemia. Some of them are Selena Gomez, the singer, Tim Shaw, a world championship swimmer, Venus Williams, the tennis player, and famous actresses Angelina Jolie and the late Brittany Murphy. Celebrities inspire us in many different ways, and knowing that they have had anemia and overcame it is even more inspiring. You can do the same. So, you might be asking yourself, do I have anemia? Anemia means that you have fewer red blood cells or less hemoglobin than normal in each red blood cell. This means less oxygen is carried around the bloodstream to supply the body and this in turn causes you to experience symptoms such as tiredness, having little energy, feeling faint or dizzy and becoming easily breathless. You may also experience heart thumping which is known as palpitations, headaches or ringing in the ears known as tinnitus. Now if you want to be really clever, I'll tell you some of the signs to look out for that may suggest you have anemia. Firstly, you may look pale. Your conjunctiva may be pale. You can examine the conjunctiva by pulling your lower eyelid down and looking at the colour of the inside of your eyelid. This should be pink. If it's pale, this may be a sign of anemia. Creases in the palms of your hands may be pale and you may have something called coilonychia which is also known as spoon nails. Now all these signs could suggest that you are anemic. Now you may be wondering, how do I find out if I am anemic? Firstly, you'll need to see your doctor who will do a simple blood test called the full blood count or the complete blood count depending on where you live. And this will show whether you're anemic or not. In males, the normal level of hemoglobin is greater than 130 grams per litre. And in females, hemoglobin should be above 120 grams per litre. The most common cause of anemia is iron deficiency anemia, which means you have less iron in your body for some reason. And this is what I'll be talking about primarily in today's video. There are several causes of iron deficiency anemia. Most commonly, women who have heavy menstrual periods, they lose more blood and as a result become anemic. Other causes include pregnancy or childhood growth spurts and poor absorption of iron. There are some gut diseases that can cause this like celiac disease and Crohn's disease and I will talk about these separately in future videos. You can also be losing blood from elsewhere such as your gut. This can sometimes happen very slowly so you don't even realize it's happening. Another cause of iron deficiency anemia is simply if you have a poor diet not containing enough iron. Some causes of iron deficiency anemia are more serious than others and it is important to find the cause. Your doctor may organise further investigations such as further blood tests, a gastroscopy which is a camera put down from your mouth to look into your stomach and possibly take a biopsy or a colonoscopy which is a camera inserted from your rectum to look into your gut and again possibly take a biopsy. For iron deficiency anemia, the treatment is firstly to increase the amount of iron consumption from your diet. Some good food sources of iron include red meats, fish, eggs, green leafy vegetables like spinach and nuts. Secondly, you can take over-the-counter iron supplement tablets if changing your diet is just not enough. And lastly, if even that is not enough, your doctor may suggest you taking iron tablets which have to be prescribed depending on how low your hemoglobin is. Your doctor will tell you about the doses and the course of the tablets. The treatment may change depending on the cause of anemia. So guys, that was iron deficiency anemia in a nutshell. There are other causes of anemia also, which I will discuss separately in future videos. However, just to make you aware, they are Pernicious anemia, which is the lack of certain vitamins such as vitamin B12. Hemolytic anemias, which means that the blood cells are quite fragile and break down easily in the bloodstream. Some of these, for example, are thalassemia and sickle cell anemia. You can also have bone marrow problems and cancers like leukemia. However, these are quite uncommon causes of anemia. Other conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis and chronic kidney disease or other chronic diseases can also cause anemia. 
That's it for today's video guys. If you have enjoyed the content and found it knowledgeable then please consider subscribing to this channel so I can have your support and know that you are benefiting from the videos. Also like and share the video with your family and friends so that they are aware of the symptoms and signs to look out for to identify anemia either in themselves or in someone that they may know. You may even help save a life by passing them this information. My next video will be about a story of how I recognize the signs and symptoms of anemia and actually helped save the life of a patient. If you have any suggestions for future videos then please leave a comment below. All the best guys, look after yourselves, stay healthy and remember knowledge saves lives.